How's it going YouTube? This week I wanted to look at this new module from Hoogleton Instruments. Or at least I assume that's how you pronounce that. No idea really. Uh, it's just from a single developer as far as I can tell from Japan, Leo Kurashita. It's apparently a hardware clone. I'm not familiar with it, but I assume it's a model K102V. It's a complex oscillator. It sounds pretty cool. I've had some fun playing around with it and we're gonna have a look at it today. So I'm just gonna unmute this and we're gonna play around with some of the sounds that this thing can produce. So it's just a straight tone there. There's some weird cross modulation going on in the background there. I'm not sure what that's about exactly, but we kind of have a, uh, I wouldn't call it a wavetable, but we have some complex modulation that's possible here. If I bring up uh, an LFO, any old LFO will do. Let's just go with this one and I put this in here. We get a, a sweep between a saw wave and a sine wave, as you can see here. Or a sine wave and a square wave, a sine wave and a triangle, a sine wave and whatever the hell that is. and just some other wave shapes. And then we get a pulse width modulation here. And then at the top there, some sort of square to random noise or something. That's cool by itself. But then we've got these other settings. If I unmute this again, let's put this down to something more manageable. I bring this tertiary oscillator up and I flick it to the top one. Now it's a bit difficult for me to tell what's going on in a lot of these situations, firstly because a lot of it's in Japanese, but if we hover over the switch, it tells us what we're doing. So it says LFO mode, pitch A and B. We've got primary oscillator up here and secondary oscillator up here. And if you hover over them, oscillator B, oscillator A. So pretty sure what's happening here is we've got an LFO that's oscillating between them. But changing the pitch doesn't do anything. So I'm a bit confused what's going on there. But if we move down here to LFO mode pitch B, nothing happens with this. <laughs> so I'm not sure exactly what that refers to. But then down the bottom here, then it with each uh, cycle of the LFO, we go from one oscillator to the other, which is pretty cool. Especially when you go up into audio rates. So that's cool. Let's just turn this down. That's the LFO depth on that fader there. And also, just to demonstrate really quickly again. We've got different shapes here. And if we flick from the A to B down here, we get these other shapes. So at the top, we've got a sample and hold. Mm -hmm. 
So that's all pretty fun. Over here, though, we've got this compound unit. And this allows us to basically just fade between the oscillators. And down here we have oscillator A, B, D tune. On this setting it's set to free. Which I assume just expands the range because over on D tune mode... <laughs> it's really no different. And in fact, if we want it to be offset from oscillator A, and so we get a nice detune effect, we actually have to tune it down here to match this one. So, not quite sure what's going on there. But either way, that's, that's what we have. Um, up here we have these different settings here. Again, not totally sure what they are doing. One says fade, one says phase, and one says multiply. They're just different ways of cross-modulating, I think. Between the two oscillators. Fade is just... what we were on, so we can fade between them. Phase, I'm not sure what that's doing. I guess it's doing something with the phase. And then the multiply. Some kind of cross modulation. And then over here we have sync. So let's put it down to fade. I guess that's syncing the two oscillators together. Or maybe it's syncing oscillator B to A. So anyway, <laughs> getting a bit carried away, just messing around with the weird sound. It's a cool oscillator. There's a lot you can do with it. I like the design of it. I think it's really clear and just aesthetically pleasing. Even though, of course, it's maybe not as clear as I need it to be. <laughs> Especially being in another language. But that's fine. I, I can fiddle my way through. It's all good. So, that's just to demonstrate. Let's move on to some examples. Down here, I have made a patch. And I've got multiple instances of this oscillator. But I'm also using this week this Tatami oscillator from CV Funk, which is also a brand new, uh, sorry, it's not an oscillator module, um, which is also a brand new module and it's a uh, wave folder. And it sounds pretty cool, but let's just uh, unmute these tracks one at a time. So this is the first one here. Let's have a listen. So I'm using the uh, digital sequencer from Vox Glitch to sequence multiple uh, oscillators in different ways, but also to sequence um, like the the modulation input over here, which is coming from channel tr two here. And it's nice that they decouple the gates from the pitch. In, this, in the sense that I can have these gates control something else and then the modulation control another thing. So that's, I mean, look, that's not that unusual, but it's pretty cool. I really like this sequencer. Um, just going into this scale CV with a Mixolydian scale. So that's pretty cool. And we've, you know, we've got some modulation happening here. So, let's uh, unmute the next one. Which is these top three. And they are running off these last three tracks. This one, this one, and this one. 
and they're all being quantized by this scale CV. Summed by this mixer from Bafaco. Got a bit of chorus. Um, and I'm using the gate from just this one, just one gate, which triggers all of them. And I'm using a gate mod to extend the length of the gate. And I'm using slap here to envelope the amplitude. So I, I really like the vibe of that. Um, just this sort of undulating melody. But I also thought, what else can we do with this oscillator? And so... I made a kick drum. But it's like... A bass line too. Because it changes pitch. And I also made a snare drum. It's more of a clap, I suppose. Both of them are going through tatami. And then, finally... Put this bass note down here. Also being sequenced with another digital sequencer. And if I unmute these other two... We get some beautiful melodies. And that's kind of all I really wanted to look at today. I wanted to do a short video. These oscillate, or this oscillator just came out along with Tatami. So I just figured let's have a look at both of them, specifically this oscillator, and just make some stuff. And that's what I've done. So that's going to do it for this video this week. Um, you can download this patch through the link in the description from patch storage and yeah I'll also link to these modules in the description too and that's it for today <laughs> and I'll see you next time bye